Welcome back to Morgan's video blog, Morgan's online blog in video format. Today I'm coming to you early with a new um, episode uh, coming from Worldcon 77 Dublin, Introduction to Hope Punk. So in a grim, dark world filled with politics, truth, and lies, um, many of us have been longing for a literary escape that can give us some hope. For this generation, Hope Punk is our answer. At Worldcon 77, Dublin, Joe Walton, Letty Prell, and the creator of the term herself, Alexandra Rowland, on a panel moderated by the marvelous Sam Hawk, we discussed the true meaning of Hope Punk. So first off, what is Hope Punk? After the term hit NPR and Vox, it started to shift from what was originally intended into something lighter and shinier. Luckily for all of us, we had the queener of the term there to set the record straight, aided by the creator of the SIFWA Bulletin, formally acknowledging the genre. SIFWA is Science Fiction Writers of America, SFWA, in case you didn't know. So, what is it? Gr uh, Hope Punk is the counter to Grimdark, which I already said. It is stories to support people. Uh, thirdly, the emphasis should be on the punk with a core strength of hope. Punk in its need to fight the man. Hope in its goal that we deserve a better world. I, I kind of want to repeat that. We deserve a better world. Fourth, hope punk is contemporary fantasy or near future. Um, fifth, its characters don't give up. They stand up, they resist, and they fight back. Sixth way to tell if it's hope punk, the characters are just ordinary people who care. They're not superheroes, they're not the chosen one, they're someone who sees that there's a problem and stands up rather than waiting for someone else to take on the load. And finally, its characters don't have to win, but they do have to make a difference and offer hope for a better future. Now, some of you might be wondering, why do we need a term for this? Why do we even need subgenres at all? Well, there are three reasons we need subgenres. First off, naming something defines it and the beliefs or the story expectations that go with it. Secondly, naming a genre lets people find more stories like it. And third, marketing. You knew that had to be in there somewhere. So let's, let's go back to that whole naming a genre means you can find stuff like that. Here are some writers that invoke or actually write hope punk. Um, Ruth Ann Emrys, Marissa K. Lingen, Ada Palmer, Alexander Rowland, uh, Letty Prell in her Crossing LaSalle, David Mitchell in his Cloud Atlas. Uh, note, he writes plenty of stuff that isn't Hope Punk, so you got to be a little careful with that one. N.K. Jemison's Broken Earth trilogy. Usman T. Malik's The Pauper Prince and The Eucalyptus Gin. William Alexander's The House on the Moon. Kim Stanley Robinson's 40 Signs of Rain and New York 2140, and Ursula Le Guin with The Ones That Walk Away from Umalas. I totally butchered that name. Anyway, those titles and authors will be in the links below. So I know I had to look up the spelling because I was taking notes from people verbally and there's no way you can... No, unless you already know the stories, in which case you wouldn't need the list. But anyway, it's in the comments below. So why Hope Punk now? Hope Punk is a reaction to the current political, cultural, and physical environment in which we live. 
During times of prosperity and progress, grimdark reminds us to fight complacency. During times of stagnation and fear, Hopunk is reminding us that we are not powerless. During the panel, we were reminded of the quote that fairy tales do not tell children that dragons exist. Children already know that dragons exist. Fairy tales tell children that dragons can be killed. G.K. Chesterton. In Western culture, so often we consider literature more serious when it is cynical, ironic, and distant. Western culture finds the upbeat, shiny stories of the 1950s trite and naive, and they extend that opinion to anything that isn't full of cynicism which leads to interesting circumstances like award-winning novels failing to warrant any academic acclaim or interest. We need to remember that human acts of kindness are common and real and normal. Do you think hope punk is right for you? Ordinary people fighting back, making a difference, even if they can't win the day? Do you know any story you think would be a good fit for the genre? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for tuning in to my special Worldcon post. And join me again later this week for more writing tips and regularly musings. Bye-bye.